All right, guys, welcome back to Starfield. You found me. I knew I made the right choice in letting you go. Okay, now I didn't mean I didn't mean for this to happen at the very beginning of the episode, but such is life. Now I've come here to try to finish off that Unity mission. I decided to abandon my undercover operation for the Crimson Fleet or into the Crimson Fleet. Uh. And I thought I would come to this place. You remember the scorpion thing? The scorpion tail gave me coordinates to come here. And the hunter has arrived. I'm a little bit scared. Keeper Achaeus sent me to find the true meaning of unity. Well, time for round two then. Surrender or be destroyed. Yeah, I'm not going to do the tough talk. I don't think I've got it in me. What do you mean? Because this guy decided to let me go, right? What do you mean? Oh, please. Did you think I couldn't have found you again? Extinguished that little spark of competition for the artifacts before it grew stronger. I wanted to see what you would do. And I haven't been disappointed. Well, I haven't done much more since we last met, sir. But, um, all right, keeping a, uh, Keeper Akia sent me to find the true meaning. What? Constellation ship. You weren't invited to this meeting, but much of our conversation has been about you. It's only fitting you should join us. The emissary. I will personally guarantee your safety as long as you come in peace. And think of it as a ceasefire meeting. Your one shot at getting those answers you must desperately want. Well, this is a great way to start the episode, and yes, I do want some answers. Um, a ceasefire meeting of the Starborn at war, exactly. They're at war with me. Not a bad description, actually. We'll explain when we meet. In person. Alright, well, I mean, who wouldn't? I need, I need some answers. Um, I'll begin the docking procedure. Let's go. all get along. Is there a third party in this? I mean, this uh, this emissary, of course. So, yeah, just, just to remind you, if you weren't sure, uh, the main mission here, well, was the Unity mission, but now we've transitioned to in their footsteps. The Unity one was to go to the last star of the Scorpius constellation, but that means Unity is now complete in terms of a, of a, a quest. And now... We meet the Scorpius. Interesting that we found it at the end of the Scorpion's Dale. Alright. Beginning docking procedures. And maybe we get some answers. Try not to crash into it. There we go. There's something about that, that crescendo of music that really reminds me of uh, the Hunger Games... Uh, you know, that when... The, oh, I've just undocked. Oops. <laughs> the Hunger Games, you know, when they would, um... Announce the... The contestants. Am I... I'm bashing into it, aren't I? Just docked, dude. I'm smashing into the Scorpius. Yeah, in the Hunger Games, when they used to announce the competitors, and you'd get that Hunger Games theme music. Right, board. Press the board button, not the undock button. Idiot. Okay, so we have the hunter and this emissary. What a ship. Hello again. <laughs> Do you remember the emissary, perhaps? And their ship, the Helix? I believe they ambushed you above Neon and oh. demanded that artifact you worked so hard to gain. Oh, that was who it is. Thank you for the stellar introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. 
Right. Uh, yeah, well, damn right it is. You don't know who you're messing with. Yeah, all right, all right. You've seen their firepower. They could destroy us in a split second. All we ever wanted to, all we ever wanted was to talk and you attacked us. Just, or just tell me who you are, who the Starborn are. Yeah, I need to know this. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The Emissary threatened your ship, demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. What? what, what oh, I don't understand. All right, so look, I agree. Killing you and taking your artifacts are both on my list. <laughs> I don't think this is a wise choice right now. You're talking in circles. I came to learn about the unity. Yes. Let's talk about what really matters. The unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place, a gateway. It is where we were reborn. Not a relatively expendable Dusty anymore, are you? What? Look at where you've ended up. What? Just hold on a second. That's Barrett inside the, oh, the emissary's helmet. It's got to be a projection. There's no way it's Barrett. I don't believe it. Do I stay silent at this point? Yes, I think I will. I'm not who you think I am. <laughs> this universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who stayed at the lodge to protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye while we held off the hunter. One of me, at least. I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe and the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the unity. When I stepped into it, I became a Starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. Wait, what? So, hang on. I'm not even going to try to guess what's going on here. That's not really Barrett, is it? Both of you are trying to keep people from it. So this unity is where the artifacts are from, the temples? They are all connected. All right. This is a good statement, though. Both of these people, the Emissary and the Hunter, are trying to keep people from it. I have to. This is bigger than all of us. <laughs> all the artifacts are needed to complete the Armillary and open the way to the Unity. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the Temples. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The Emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. <laughs> You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts, and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. Well, thank you very much. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? Why do I know that voice and that face? Ke I was Keeper Aqueous. Aqueous, of course. No, some other version of the same person. Okay, so this is, these are like... The same people from the multiverse, right? Different dimensions, layered on top of each other. This can't be true. Aqueous is a man of peace and you're a monster. The... <sighs> At this point, I'm not going to judge anybody or second guess anything. Or even guess anything. Forget second guessing. I've got to get to guess first. You've been to the Unity multiple times. What does it mean? It means I've seen thousands of universes. 
collected their artifacts, been to their temples. You have a small taste of their power, but it keeps going. Ah, uh, right, so all of the powers I can collect from those temples. You said you, 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 go, you can continue to go through the same universe to collect more of them and the power increases. Now I heard about this, if you, if you play a new game plus, you keep the powers you have, but when you find the same power the second time, you level up to level two and you can go through the game 10 times to get each of those powers up to level 10 and that's when they really do become really powerful. It's a, it's a replayability mechanism for the game. Okay, well, listen, this, you were supposed to be a man of peace. Or I'm nothing like, I don't know, let's just, oh, I don't know which one to pick here. Achilles is a man of peace, you're a monster. Or, Keeper Achilles, no, some other version of the same person. You're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he walks. To give up. To appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who has seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this far, not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. Oh god, so I've got to pick a side now. So I help one of you, we combine our artifacts and enter the unity. Hmm. I'm not helping someone who murdered my friend, or whatever war is going on between you two, I want no part of it. That's true. I agree with that one. You're already in it. With artifacts come Starborn searching for them, fighting over them. I want a truce between all three of us. Give you some time to think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine or the Hunter's? Yes. Let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. Well, oh god, have I got to actually talk to one of them? I can leave the Scorpius or optionally talk to the Hunter or the Emissary. So look at these dudes. So you have more questions. Ask. I have to ask, but I'm good, just going to enjoy the view from your, from your ship. This is amazing. The glass front of this, oh, just opens up the galaxy. It's gorgeous. So I could leave the Scorpius, or I can talk to these two losers. All right, all right, let's have some conversations. So, Emissary, what have you got to say for yourself? I know we're not the same people we met in our universes. Still, it's good to see you again, old friend. Okay, so it is Barrett, but from a different universe. But he remembers me from the current one. Hmm. So this armillary, the armillary uh, is the, the the combined artifacts that we've been trying to build. It's now buildable on my ship. Uh, you have the choice of being able to build it on a a um, uh, what do you call it, a colony, if you're doing colony building. But I chose to to put it on my ship. I haven't added a new piece to it since I've done that. So I think it's about time I hopped around the rest of this galaxy trying to find more of them. But what exactly is the armillary? When all the artifacts are assembled. The vice they create is called the Armillary. In many ways, it's a model of the multiverse itself. Through it, you can reach the unity. And from there, you can become Starborn. Right. Okay, well that, that makes a lot of sense. It's a portal to the unity. What's the unity? Like a, a singularity or something like that. So you try to protect the artifacts and keep them from being abused. You've seen the terror the hunter causes. Every time a Starborn goes through the Unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, gain more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever's in their way. Huh. Who was I in your universe, and what was I like? Different. I never know who you are when I meet a new version. But so much of you stays the same. It's hard. But each universe is precious in its own way. Mine will never have its original you in it again, as yours won't have its real me. Right, got it. So there's variation, inevitable variation. There has to be variation. 
And what happens when you enter the Unity? It's not an easy experience to describe, but the Unity will speak to you, offer you the chance to become Starborn. You will be leaving this universe behind to be reborn. Everything you were before will be gone. Maybe that's why it offers the choice. Compassion? Or is it testing us? Hmm. All right, well, the emissary has been spoken to. Hunter, it's your turn. Seemingly you the most aggressive the of the two. the emissary is on your side, but your persistence is what forced them to tell you the truth. Remember that. There's a certain Liam Neeson quality to this guy's voice. All right, Hunter. The unity is meant for whomever can get there. Don't fall for that talk of worthiness. Right, so he's all about resource and taking rather than it being a more spiritual experience. So the emissary seems more spiritual. This guy is all about power and control. So you called the emissary a hypocrite. Why? They enter the unity, take artifacts from others, employ force. All the things I do. Hmm. I am many things, but I would never tell anyone what to do with their gifts. That is your decision, not someone else's. The Emissary wants to become the judge of who gets to enter, but the Unity itself doesn't judge. Huh, well, then it does it matter who judges me if the Unity has the ultimate judgment, like, almost like God. After you attack the Lodge, you let me go, but why? To see what would happen, of course. You might not understand just how many times I've done this. Usually, you're the one who ends up dead, and whoever cries over your body goes on to become the Emissary. Huh. Sometimes I manage to get you all bunched up and take care of the problem in one go. And sometimes the Emissary has gotten to me first, and I never arrive. Hundreds and hundreds of variations of me, packing through Constellation. And it's almost never you. You making it to your ship on your own. That's new. I took it as a sign. I don't get many of those anymore. Sounds like a horrible existence, just repeating endlessly the same story over and over again. My god. Who's gonna do New Game Plus? I know some people have already done it. New Game Plus, all the way up to 10. It, it's, you become the hunter. You become you become the very thing that chases you down. Maybe that's maybe that's end game. That's really the tenth playthrough. That's what you discover. You become the hunter itself. Oh god. Um. So so why did you attack us? Well, he's kind of already told us that. Um. But this last option has just appeared. You had this meeting because of me. <laughs> no, we always end up having this meeting at this time. But it's the usual affair. Can we make peace? No. Oh, how tragic. Honestly, I was beginning to wonder why I kept tending. And it's bad habit I started a long time ago. Perhaps I just like meeting the emissary to gloat. <laughs> <laughs> but you have provided something quite new to talk about. Maybe you're a random die roll. Or maybe the Unity is finally responding to all my hard work. Okay, right. I, I've got to go through all these final options. I, I don't think there's much point in ans asking this one. Uh, but he, want, he said he attacks us to get the artifacts, right? So I'm sure that's going to be his answer. But why did you attack us? I've simply found that it's the quickest way. Talking, forming alliances waiting for the right moment to commit theft. It's all so tiresome. I'll admit you getting away has been the most interesting thing to happen in quite some time. As soon as I realized what had happened, I knew I needed to wait until this meeting with the Emissary to decide what to do about you. How, how curious, though, that this time... You know, he, that he, what he's just said about, well, you know, it was, it's, I found it the most efficient way, just go around shooting people. 
rather than try to have conversation, persuasion, or wait for the right moment for thieving, when the game itself wants you to do those things. <laughs> so you might as well just play this game with your guns out, go in there, destroy everything, and just take, 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 because ultimately it doesn't matter. There are another billion universes for you to do it a different way the next time, and no one's going to remember the, what you did in this one, because you're going to leave it forever. <laughs> it's not a good advert for the game at all. What's the unity to you, and why do you kill for it? Whoever created the artifacts and built those temples is playing a game with us. One whose prize is access to the center of all creation. There are no rules. Whoever gets all the pieces wins. And I've won. Over and over. I don't kill for the unity. I find the easiest pathway to it. Right, he's a seasoned gamer. Alright, thanks chaps. Well, I, I, I understand you a little bit more, um, but still uh, not quite at all. Uh, so thanks everybody. I think we'll be off. I don't think that actually does anything in terms of a choice, but it seems like they're suggesting I need to make a choice. Well, lads, it's been a pleasure. I will see you very soon, I think. Let's Before you leave, oh. I want to give you something. A way to another artifact, but also a lesson in how dangerous they can be. Seek the moon of old Earth. There are secrets there you must discover for yourself. Here. To open the way. The moon of Earth. Okay, well, I've been there once. Earth's moon in the solar system? Yeah, I get that. Find. Uh, I'll see what I can find. You starborn sure like your you-must-see-for-yourself nonsense. I do not always know if you are a person I should be helping. Forgive me. I have also found that advice is a poor substitute for experience. I ask you again, go to Earth's moon. You should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure that they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. But I will leave that to you. Got it. Oh, he's just given me loads of stuff. Complete in their footsteps. So uh, it's a, an important story moment there. We've got the moon base key has been added. Interesting. Well, I don't know what... To, oh, I feel like there's an opportunity here. I'm going go to... Go to Earth's moon. Follow the path. To yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to have a little poke around your ship, see if you left any loot. Wouldn't that be nice? A nice touch. I mean, it's... All of this space just for one person. All right, well, let's check downstairs. Well, it looks like a door. It looks like a door, and quacks like a door. <laughs> it must be a door, but it doesn't really do anything. All right, I'm out of here. I wonder what my crew is going to make of this. Do I talk to them? Should I talk to them? I can find any of them. Ah, Andreja, you won't believe what's Hello. happened. Okay, I don't think we need to talk. Thanks thanks a lot for paying attention to me very carefully there. Oh. What's next on the agenda? Saving the world? Saving the galaxy? Saving the universe? Well, which universe? I think that's become apparent that we don't know which one anymore. Uh... Let's get out Welcome of here. Back. Oh, Lynn, I forgot you were even on the crew. You need a blooming what? Look at the state of you. Absolutely disgusting. I mean, maybe it's our engineering duties. Let's go. Now, where, what am I going to do? Do I want to go try this? Do I want to go straight to the moon? I, I'm tempted. I'm so tempted to do that. Unearthed and final glimpses. I should return to the lodge and tell them what I've learned about the unity, yes, but before we do... Emissary has given me a key to a base on Luna, Earth's moon. I love it's called Luna. You know, it's a much more Latin version of, of the moon. 
Saying I'll learn more about the artifacts if I investigate. Okay. We're going. That's what we're doing today. We'll 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 come back to do the uh the infiltration mission. Poor old Earth. Look at that. I do like the I do like the detail though, because it looks just like I mean it would do, like the Google Earth map, right? But even all of the the cracks and fractures on the ocean floor. I've looked at Google Earth a lot, not just the land. And these, these cracks and fractures are exactly the way they appear. It's great. Anyway, off to the moon. <clears throat> to the moon! Oh, can't travel. Set landing target. I can't travel while the ship is docked. Set a course. Oh. So we've got to go through the undocking procedure. Now that just seems a little bit silly. That, that, why do they bother having that in the game? That's pointless. You cannot possibly need to go through a loading screen mechanism for that. It doesn't make any sense. All right. supposed to be heading. Oh, it's a long way up there. Okay, but we're good. We're good. It's the moon. I needn't be afraid. I bet you the view on the moon is good. That's the Earth. Huh. Impressive that such an old structure would be in this shape after over a hundred years. Oh, it's been over a hundred years? So what does that mean and why is it significant? I realise there is one way to find out. Open the bloody door and get in there. Oh, so if we'd actually happened across this place before, we wouldn't have been able to get in. We needed that key from the, uh, what's his name? Not the Inquisitor. Why do I want to call him the Inquisitor? It's a Red Dwarf influence. First things first, do the research. Do your own research. Voltaire. I want to remind the research team that Voltaire is a highly proprietary supercomputer that is currently being contracted exclusively for the use in Project Prism. It is not meant for your own personal projects. Yes, it's amusing to see just how many decimal points of pi it can calculate, how many bits of encryption it can brute force, or whatever you can simulate table tennis with a perfect aerodynamic simulation. But there will be time for that later. For now, I need everyone concentrating on hitting our deadline. We're developing exciting new aerospace technology with our partner and client. It should be more than enough to keep anyone from being bored. So this supercomputer, Voltaire, presumably quantum computer, is that related to the Unity? Okay, Project Prism Launch. Play the recording on the roof. We're happy to announce that the first test launch of Project Prism will be held today. I would like everyone to suit up and join us on the roof at 9 EDT. Reminder to please sync all watches to Eastern Daylight Time. Our partner will also be on radio for the launch. Our partner will be recording the event, so be on your best behavior. So, who's the partner? What's the message? Look at that, the old shuttle. Is that the Discovery? It is. Oh. I'm so glad it was in my lifetime. left in a hurry. Hopefully for no reason we need to be concerned about. Yeah, well. Probably was a serious reason. No, no health packs. What's going on? Have I already been through here? Can you read these? Nova Galactic Project Log, Principal Engineer Lang Shu. 
Voltaire's being reconfigured for this new initiative. The math were being us to crunches. Ambitious, even for a supercomputer. We might as well be asking it to count every grain of sand in every desert on Earth. Who came up with these original equations? Our partner isn't being very open about it. Every question I have goes through some discretionary channel. I'm surprised we even know we're working on a ship. I'm surprised we even know we're working on a ship. Optional to collect all the slates. Well, now you've given me that option. I'm curious. That's an airlock, so that'll be out. More slates, more slates. The hell is that? A science crate? Oh, I have to find out. Ooh, that was a tough one. And what do we get? Shotgun shells. Aromatic. Rare organic resource for crafting. Um, all right. It's three of those. I'm not sure I need them. I'll take them. Might get over encumbered. The deep seeker spacesuit. It's not bad looking. But still not as good as the suit I've got. I like it though. Um, space adept old earth shotgun. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, oh, I've got to take it just for sentimental reasons. Um, ta Tantalum and the Tau Grade Rio stat. Yeah, I'm not really into the crafting. I hope so you can't succeed at that before we are discovered. Uh, well, I, I did it. Did you not notice that? Where's all the decent loot? Moonbase Slate Six. Ah, right, here we go. I accepted the assignment up here. We were told to bring a couple of personal items. Some psychological study said it helped when you're away from Earth this long. I brought my grandmother's old abacus. I would play with it on her lap, and she'd teach me the Russian for all the numbers. She, uh... just... got word that she passed. The next shuttle isn't for three months, so I'll, uh... I won't be able to go to the funeral. Goodbye, Babushka. Thank you for teaching me math. It brought me to the moon. Oh, the letter to her grandmother. That's kind of emotional. Emotional. Right, that's one more slate. I know we've got to go upstairs, but I really want to see if we can find all of these. It's an optional thing. I'm hopelessly curious. Oh, restricted equipment key. Huh. Where would the restricted equipment be? Ah, oh, let me go. It's another slate. Nova Galactic Project Log, Principal Engineer Lang Shu. I admit, this is not the most disciplined team I've ever run. Malcolm keeps stealing computational time on Voltaire, and thinks I don't know this. And Sabina's been distracted lately but won't tell anyone why. I really should demand answers from both of them. But honestly, I'm too preoccupied with this contract. We all are. Despite anything going on in our personal lives, there's something special about what we're building here. 2140 as well, so that's when these recordings went down. Said this place, we, we found out this place had been here for, for uh, 100 years, so 2040 they built this moon base. Do you think, do you think it's, it's going to happen? I mean, we are supposed to be going back to the moon, so pff, maybe. Ah, one more. Slate number five. You ever get jealous? You know, the crew in the shipyard building the actual vessels that are going to travel the stars? We're literally on a base on the moon. Oh, come on, Sabina. I'm trying to share my dreams here. Well, your dreams are always out there and never here where the rest of us live. 
Can't you just be happy doing your job? Where's the fun in that? Okay, the jealousy. Why did they stick the slate in the toaster? It, lo <laughs> it looks like a toaster. Ah, one more slate. Okay, confession time. Being single on a moon base is the worst. I only get like an hour to use the communication link to Earth every couple of days. And let me tell you, there's long distance dating, and then there's like long distance dating, you know? Oh, hey there, I'm a scientist, deadly employed, willing to take you out for coffee in like six months when I'm back from space. <laughs> it's not a great opening line. <sighs> you seriously can't get a date? You're an astronaut. Hey, no one asked you. Why don't you ask her out? See, they've put so much loot in the game, but with, but with zero incentive for you to take it all. You know, I remember in in Fallout, most of the time, I just collect absolutely everything. You never got over encumbered too soon. But, nah, stuff, they are really stingy with your carry weight. And where you can sell or trade the stuff. Like, you've got to go miles to a planet to go trade, it, and ugh, it seems silly. Alright, we've already done this bit. Let's keep on going. I see another one. Right here. Voltaire really is something else. A supercomputer so powerful, they put it on the damn moon to keep it cool. Although by that logic, they should be running it purely in the vacuum of space, but hey, Good marketing material. Uh, I've been spending some off hours running some dumb simulations, just because I can. My favorite so far is simulating the sound of every duck on Earth quacking after receiving a piece of bread. You didn't know you wanted a real-time sim of feeding all the ducks, but now you have it. <laughs> You're welcome, humanity. Right, this is the guy who was stealing all of the computing time to do that. What a j what a lad. What a great, great thing to uh, 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 s s put all your time into. All right, that was the last slate. Interesting that he says, oh, putting it in space will make it colder. No, well, not true. Keeping it shaded from the sun would keep it cooler, which you can do in space. That's what the JWST does. It has to be kept really, really cold to be able to see infrared uh, wavelengths. So how, do I, how the hell do I get up there? So they, yeah, they, they've built a shield which protects it from the sun. Quite a complicated layered shield. Um, so yeah, keeping it on the moon, in one of the craters, in the shaded bit of the crater, would be incredibly cold, so not a bad idea. Where the- how the- We've got to get up on the roof, so I mean, we've just got to go outside. Fine, I'll do that. Oh, well that's- that was unbelievably easy. Of course, you forget with the gravity differences, it's not going to be a problem. All right, play the recording. Engines in a time almost complete. Total time, 5 minutes, 22 seconds. Ride on Some schedule. Some of the earliest space How are the helium are likely three coordinated from over. here. We double-checked the leakage concerns Strange. this morning. Shush! Be sending on such a unique bit of clear. history. Any changes to the calculation sequence from Voltaire? No changes since we uploaded the last figures yesterday. It's a clean shot from here to Jupiter. One day, the computer will be on board the spaceship. Just imagine that. One miracle of science at a time, Canaveral. Counting down in five, four, three, two, one. So where did it launch from? From somewhere over here. Canaveral. Okay. Are you reading? All clear, Nova. Indicators look good. The ship should be cruising Jupiter's orbit right now. Visual confirmation will be possible in... <laughs> 32 minutes. Afraid the speed of light is on the slow side these days. <laughs> How does it feel to break the laws of physics, Canaveral? We're all pretty excited down here in NASA, I won't lie. Excited enough to tell me where you got the original data? Not in a million years. Nova. Whoa. We've got an access code for NASA. We'll go to NASA on Earth. Are you kidding? What? And thanks for interrupting. I was listening to that. 
Andrejia, I love you. Don't be, don't be scared. Okay, uh, go to NASA. Oh, it is. It's the NASA launch tower on Earth. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, well, we can't not go there now. That's the launch tower. Oh, oh, wow. Check that out. Honestly, somebody mentioned it in the comments as though. Look, like, all this stuff happened to Earth. You know, everything else has rotten and become a desert. Totally destroyed. Yet, <laughs> the Shard in London survives. And the, the, obviously the pyramids. Ugh. And then this tower, totally untouched. We've got to find a way upstairs. At first glance, looks like... To think that towers like this were once absolutely essential to ensuring our survival. And now here they are, buried and forgotten. Well, arguably not buried at all. But we do have a ship that, what, didn't launch? can be launched so anyway yeah this is this tower's definitely gonna have a staircase right it's gotta be oh this is awesome so yeah the atmosphere of the earth's gone as well because we're in the daylight right and still see still see the stars so the atmosphere is perhaps an elevator will allow us to access what lies beneath all this dust Totally disappeared. Yeah, well, you can get your elevator. I'm, I'm just climbing my way. What is this? An emergency power cell. We can never know whether lives were lost because this ship never launched, but it was built for a reason. Yeah, didn't they say it was going to Jupiter or the Earth or something like it had already gone to Jupiter? Or is this the ship that has the artificial intelligence on it? Hmm. Definitely, definitely the wrong jump. Hypothermia can set in quickly, and the effects can be deadly. We should keep that in mind. Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't be going down there now. Okay, I've got myself a little stuck. Let's try this again. That's right. Small problem, but we are easily overcome. What the hell are we going to discover here? Imagine if you get to the end of this walkway and then they say, Oh, yeah, you need to get the power cell. It's on the ground floor. Already got it, my friend. Already got it. This looks like the right way, but a dangerous. A dangerous path. Only expert platformers can ever do this. Hmm. Well, we found a way. Okay, I can't even see if that's a solid surface. Yep, we're good. Power required. Well, I've got the power... Don't you do this to me. Ah, there we go. Into, in, inserting into the receptacle. Oh, look at that. They kept some power cells down here. <gasps> okay, I understand. Sealant. Honestly, no good, decent loot. Good loot is ammo loot. Ground floor. Ladies' department and haberdashery. Well, that'll be to turn on the... Oh yeah, I forgot I had a flashlight. We call it a torch in my country, you know? I don't know what this Whoever talk of a flashlight is. Room probably never could have imagined all that has happened since it was built. So this is NASA. Well, that's where all the money goes, people. Launch procedures. Remember, remember the final vitals and suit seal checks are essential. Yes, we've come a long way as far as tolerances. Yes, the number of people cleared for launch is much higher than it used to be, but these people's lives are still in our hands. I know there's rumors that the next launch is slated to be canceled, but let's not have that on us. 
Assume it's go time every time. Your professionalism is what makes space travel just a little bit safer, and we can use every ounce we can get. All right, that didn't really help. Give us extra information. Just good procedure. Log stations. Error. Archives damaged. Running system recovery. Partial archives have been retrieved. Delivery from Mars. Station log. Dr. Judith Tatien. The recent delivery from Mars is unsettling. I was expecting rock samples or maybe fossils of microbial life. Instead, Dr. Victor Isa comes with two members of the military. Everything they've brought back is under wraps. What could a theoretical physicist need with a sample from Mars? Sample from a theoretical physicist, sample from Mars. Well, I guess something about the universe and life itself. Station log. Dr. Judith Tatien. I've been trying to call you up to Dr. Isa, Victor, to see what is going on. His team has completely commandeered one of the labs with those two military hand refs, checking who comes in and out. I joked that maybe he found a little gray man who was doing an autopsy, and he grew very pale. Ooh. Two days later, he sends me a request asking for more information on my background in material science, metallurgical engineering. Oh, we have a meeting tomorrow. I... I think I'm being invited into the lab. So she's been ex she's going to be exposed to whatever secrets they discovered. The meeting today. Station log. Dr. Judith Satin. I have never been so nervous since I defended my dissertation. Four hours talking to Victor and his team about theoretical metals, atomic bonding, even a half hour divergence into magnetism that I'm pretty sure was just to throw me off the trail of what we were actually talking about. Then I got to see the lab. I... I don't know how much I should say, but the periodic table just got thrown out the window. The periodic table thrown out the window? What kind of nonsense is this? So, what 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 have we learned here? That they they discovered something, a sample from Mars, incredibly important and frightening, and f potentially changed the course of physics and our understanding forever. Related to this unity, related to the hospital. There is more here to explore, shall we? Yeah. What? Sorry, Andreja. Look, I, I do like you and all, but that is exactly what I was doing. As you can see, I'm going down a path which I haven't explored yet. That's called exploring. God's sakes. What do we have here? What is this? Oh, these are old NASA artifacts. Find information about the Martian sample. Oh, wow. NASA was very proud of all that it accomplished. I suppose they had a right to be. The space flight pamphlets. God, this is so cool. Wow, look at this. There's the Apollo lander. Oh, that's beautiful. And the, uh, the ISS, or a model of it. Definitely a lot bigger than that. What's this one? Oh, it's leaving Earth forever. In 2150. 2150, scientists first predicted the destruction of our beloved Earth. Atmospheric phenomena would cause breathable air to sputter outside of Earth's gravity, dooming all life that remained. An estimated 50 years until the end has given NASA and other space agencies around the world the opportunity to migrate humanity away from certain death and into the stars. Thanks in part to the development of the grav drive, humanity will live on. God, so that's how it happened. Where's all the good loot? Mind you, I suppose they, they didn't have need for uh, ammunition in NASA. I love that though. I don't think it's the real Apollo lander, unless they fetched it back from Earth. The the MER program. The Mars Exploration Rover. Oh, is that it? Of course it is. Look at it. We're staring right at it. 
Launched in 2003, allowed for the remote exploration and study of Mars. The twin rovers were made. Nicknamed Spirit and Opportunity. Man, I, I tracked those things for years. While Spirit ceased communication functions in 2010, the Opportunity rover continued operations well in 20, into 2018, exceeding its initial planned time by over 14 years. I know, they weren't supposed to last. I think the original estimated lifespan was only supposed to be like six months or something stupid like that. It was incredible. Spirit and Opportunity. Closed for remodeling. Thank you for your patience. Yeah, okay. Okay. The devs ran out of ideas there, I think. Oh, this must be one of the gra the first grav ship or something? Project Prism. NASA partnered with Nova Galactic, the creators of the Voltaire supercomputer, on an ambitious aerospace project to pull gravity itself. The result is the first spacecraft capable of faster than light travel. The first successful voyage saw astronauts reaching Jupiter in moments. Oh, of course, that explains the... I'm being an idiot. That explains the, the broadcast we heard from the top of the moon base. When he said, oh, we'll be at Jupiter in about 30 seconds. But we, we can't talk to them because we're using, <laughs> we're using uh, radio waves. We can't talk to them for another 30 minutes. Oh, that's so cool. Anyway, so... It saw astronauts reaching Jupiter in moments what would have previously taken years. Yeah, that's the way to do it. All the things we've sent out, you know, like the Voyager probes, we'll, we'll eventually invent something. And, and those, are, that's the, those are the furthest objects that have ever got away from Earth, man-made objects. Eventually, we'll, we'll invent something that can catch up with them and exceed them. Judith, the personal recording. Is this going to reveal everything? I just don't understand where these calculations came from. There's something wrong with the math? I think it's quite straightforward. That's not what I'm asking. We've had no success extracting even a sample of material from the object. No explanation for the gravitational effects. No motion graph to explain its harmonic frequencies. I can't even establish a melting point. Judith. But you've had me building these prototype colliders for months. And now you want me to bump helium-3 into it based on this equation you've written on a goddamn napkin? I just need you to trust me. I have been trusting you. We keep slamming our heads against a brick wall, getting nothing. And you keep coming up with something new to try. Like, you know what's going to happen. Where are you getting your information, Victor? I'm sorry, Judith. I... Look, not here, okay? Somewhere off base. I'll tell you everything. But I'm not lying, okay? We're going to discover something important here. I promise. I wonder if Victor was one of the first people to go through the Unity then, after he'd, like, after he'd, we'd already, he'd already discovered this stuff. Find information about the prototype grav drive. All right, on we go. Ooh, the basement of NASA. Is this where they keep all the aliens? Looks like early testing for planetary habitats. <laughs> the looks on their faces, if we could show them all that we have learned. Bless them. Bless them, eh? These antiquated fools. This facility covered quite a range of disciplines, but I must not been kind to it. Yeah, that's for sure. Okay, we need to get through here. I don't suppose we can. Oh, we can we climb? Can we climb? Oh, come on. You could squeeze through that little goal, hole, even. All right, this is it. This is it. Power required, you ass. Why did they bother? What, what was the point in that? Just... Ugh. Pointless puzzle. Information about this graph drive. So what we're going to find out, that it was, it was stolen technology rather than created technology. Stolen from the future. We're going to find out this was all a, like a time loop. 
You know, the inventor of the time machine came back to tell himself how it was invented. That kind of thing. Thank you, because I'm sure I'm going to need you in a minute. Ah. Oh. Surprise, surprise. Power receptacle. Uh. Switch. Door. Done. Probably should close all these doors. Okay. I don't like where this is going. We're going back upstairs again. Oh, for the love of... Can't get through this. Okay, this is a bit of a mission. Yeah, nothing decent here. No weapons, no ammo. I am engaging the enemy. Whoa! What was I saying? Alright, first bit of combat to them. Out the way, Andreja. And once again, we are triumphant. Come then. My sensors Meet report your death. And high okay, Andreja, you just you energy. go in there and I will I will fight from the corners here. I am taking damage. Yeah, you are taking damage, dude. Okay, I think we need to switch up the weapons. What could, what have we got here? The old Grendel. My Hansel and Grendel. What if they got weak spots? Not that it matters much. All systems. It's down. But not the only thing. Got three more red marks on my mini mini radar. Best not to leave anything. Whoa, 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 whoa. One more turret out of the way. I didn't even see that, just firing at roughly where I saw the bullets come from. Whoa! What did you do? Oh, that's it. So there's one robot, three turrets. Uh, I'll take the laser cartridges though, thank you. Do you think Vasco would see his likeness in this model? I think that can the laser cartridges be used on this damn it, not on this mag shot. Okay, better heal up. Soil box computer is down. Circuit boards. I mean it's all good stuff. I just wish I was more into the crafting side of things. You know, this is one of those games where like if it's the only game you get bought. Or you, if you're if you're young, it's the only game you get bought, and you play it for a year. You're gonna love the looting. But I consider myself lucky enough to be able to, at my age, be able to afford any game I want to buy, thanks to to YouTube. That's kind of why I started YouTube. I remember saying once, if I can get to the point where I don't have to buy the games, I just play them. Then I've done I've done what everything I set out to do, and I did that years ago. So I'm very happy. Security procedures: check all badges before allowing access. Yes, even the generals. I don't care how angry they get. The direct orders from the secretary: absolutely no phones or recording devices. Any written materials are to be checked on exit from the labs. Confiscate anything with confidential information on it. Uh, security archives damaged again. Attachments. 2138. Project Log. Dr. Victor Isa. We turned on the prototype today. The gravitational field around it began to fold as we long suspected. Complete reversal of gravitational pull was observed on dozens of loose objects around the lab. I'm setting up a meeting with the directors to propose a larger test. The prototype proves we don't need the original anymore. But further work is going to have to take place in space. Somewhere with abundant helium-3 and with a civilian partner. Someone with access to large-scale manufacturing resources and computational equipment. Engineering gravitational folds pulling the far side of the solar system closer to us. It's all going to be possible. Yeah, I mean, this has been theorized for years, you know, folding space-time. But it takes so much energy. That's the problem. The source of it. And they're just talking about helium-3. I mean, and, and, and I mean, obviously, I don't know, but it seems so, 
so f far fetched, li quite literally, something that will take hundreds, if not thousands, even longer of years to truly discover. I watched the Gravjad tests from the moon today. It was the first time we were able to talk to the team at Nova Galactic directly. So many things were under wraps before, but now everyone wants all the publicity they can get. I'm already seeing proposals for manufacturing androids of drives, expeditions to Alpha Centauri and beyond. It's also overwhelming and worrying. It could take years, decades, before we know what all these side effects of operating a grab drive can be, but no one wants to hear that right now. Like a bunch of pioneers racing towards the edges of the frontier without knowing about the grizzly bears in the mountains. Hmm. Interesting point of view. All the horrors that you have to commit to achieve your colonization. We must be nearing the artifact oh, if it whoa. is here. We should not give up now. Press Y to float up and B to float down. God, I thought I was getting pushed. We're in here though, hold on a second. Whoa, so we are floating. Well, I didn't really need to do any button pushing. What happened to this dude? NASA maintenance kid, get down, get down. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. Yeah, well, I found a, a NASA maintenance key. Unlocked with NASA's maintenance key. So we, we've got no gravity down here. The anti-grav drive experiment Has failed? Or is this working? This is what we've learned. Oh yeah, that's what it is. The anti-grav drive here is pumped up. See, if gravity is the effect of mass in space-time, it's an effect, right? Then how the hell you create something that's anti-gravity. You have to have anti-mass, anti-matter. Enough of it, but there isn't enough of it in the universe because mass one, matter one, guys, in the Big Bang. Okay, how do we get in there? This is this is irritating. Floating around. Oh god, just it's like trying to drive a drive a tugboat on a river. You got to make the turn before you have the turn. <laughs> uh. Okay, this is kind of where we've been. There's the poor NASA, NASA dead dude. How do we get there? There's another floor. Another floor and another door. Oh, is it this floor? Yes. Oh. You managed to make it here without me. Nice, nice job. Oh no, the poor guy. And that's a lab uniform. I'll take it for the banter. The prototype drive. Please be careful whenever running power through it. Secure all loose objects and have researchers empty pockets. Yeah, yeah, okay. Got it. <clears throat> Access station logs. More broken logs. So sorry, today's been a lot of reading and log listening, but I, th I quite like the, the background. 2149, February the 12th. I never actually got to visit your labs back when we were working on the grav drive projects. Seems like ancient history now. Only thing we're doing these days is launching weather satellites. Guess this is as good a retirement as any. Now, Project Demeter, you want our help manufacturing scanners to better track these new meteorological patterns we're seeing. Our guess is that the poles might be naturally shifting causing some gravitational fluctuations that are throwing off our old models. Why do you need the scanning tolerances to be so small? What are you trying to find? I just want to be sure. It's, it's not like we're doing much these days anyway. The glory days are over. Why not give ourselves a challenge before they write us off in the history books? All right, all right, so the poles were shifting. Oh God, August 21st, 2149, as requested, blah, 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 blah. 
Some of them, some may view this data as normal, but they've been historic. So this is about the magnetic magnetic field of Earth. Uh, what's happened before to Mars? Yeah, okay. So that's what's saying. So the the core, the, was it the, the the Earth core cooled down too fast? The the magnetic field weakened, and that allowed the plasma field or the the, the what's it called? The solar solar thing. <laughs> <laughs> the plasma that the sun ex exhumes to to basically blow the atmosphere off the earth okay august 22nd i know what i'm seeing victor the data coming back from the satellites is very clear it's the graph drives oh all those jumps from the moon at this rate earth's atmosphere is going to start sputtering out into space can the drives be fixed I'm working on some designs that should discreetly solve the problem under the guise of an emergency update to the fueling pumps. We're talking about the end of Earth, and you're trying to be subtle about it. Judith, the last thing we need is people losing faith in grab drive technology. That might be our only option. To what? Are you seriously saying we should abandon Earth? The timeline is under 50 years. A blink of an eye for a planet, but more than enough time for a human exodus. And what do we tell people? We say it's an act of God, one that science has found a solution for. Time for humanity to take its place in the stars. You knew, didn't you? You lied to me. God damn. seen the future I've seen. There's an infinite expanse of promise out there. A meteor could have hit Earth. A plague, another world war. Colonizing other galaxies secures humanity's future for all coming generations, across all time. At the expense of our home. Stop it, both of you. All that matters is building enough ships to get everyone off this planet. And we need to start now. I'll draft up a statement. We'll need to address the entire international community. I'm sorry, Judith. There isn't a planet in this universe that will be far enough away from you, Victor. We are never speaking again after this is over. Wow. God, so the, the adventure of the graph drive caused the destruction of the Earth. <laughs> I mean, the one, the one thing I agree with Victor about, though, is that a meteor could have hit Earth, a plague, another war. You know, we, we do have to, if we want this race to survive, if we want it to, we've got to colonize other systems, other planets, other moons. We have to. It, it's natural exploration because this planet will eventually suffer another cataclysm. That, that has, has wiped out 90% of all life in the past. We know it's happened before. I mean, the classic example is the dinosaurs, but that wasn't the only one. So, you know, we, we've got to. We've got to. If we want the human race to survive, some might say, well, what's the point? We're not particularly productive species. But I think that's wrong. <laughs> I think we're incredibly inventive and explorative. And uh, I, I, I definitely think it's the right thing to do. So throw all of our money into science and the space programs it it is absolutely necessary it should be one of our primary focuses not wars against each other september the 8th 2160 my name is dr victor isa and if you're listening to this then you probably already know the truth i was young when i first headed the retrieval team of an odd gravitational anomaly on mars but I kept what really happened that day hidden from everyone except one other person. Even she didn't believe me at first. But I have no reason to lie to anyone now, so I... I hope you'll accept this confession, whoever you are. Huh. When I touched the anomaly, I experienced 12 days of lost time. I met myself. He told me everything that has since come true. The grav drive equations, the tests on the moon. 
Earth's atmosphere sputtering away because of what we had done. But he also told me about a city thriving on a planet orbiting a distant star. Human culture, art, music, lifestyles evolving and shining brightly across all of space. What price would I be willing to pay for that future? Maybe you don't believe me. Maybe Judith was right and I'm just a coward who wants to believe his mistakes were justified. But everyone has forgotten about the real origins of the grav drive, this artifact from Mars. I hope you make better use of it than I did. Oh, so that's kind of what it was like. It was like the almanac from Back to the Future. <laughs> he was given the, the, the account of the past or the and potential future by meeting himself so yeah that's what I thought earlier is that he must have found the unity by touching this artifact he, he met himself <laughs> crazy so this artifact from Mars it is all connected the artifacts grav drives our very existence here in the settled systems how did we not see it before now well, uh, how do we not see it? Well, it's not that we didn't see it. We had no idea about it. How do we get into that thing? I've got to go back out of this layer, haven't I? This level. Ooh. Did you pick time? Did you pick time? we got a deep recon space suit helmet thing I know the safe what's in the safe all right what do we get oh we've got some rounds for the first time the modified Calibrated old earth hunting rifle. That's a lot of damage. Okay. I'm happy with that. Alright, Andreja. Darling, we're leaving. So this is the the artifact from Mars. Artifact Psi. Psi. Constellation. We've arrived on the surface of Earth. We need to discuss what you found. And it looks like other Starborn got here before us. So, you might have company. Oh boy. Oh boy. So just to escape this- Oh, there I can already see. We've got red dots. I need to get out of here. But somebody has infiltrated the base. I take it that's where we're going. Right, yeah, leaving. We're leaving. If I can leave. Whoa! Oh, that made me jump! Starborn. Another Starborn. Great. Alright, let me let me get out my favorite weapon against these dudes. What? Did it heal? I don't understand. We got a uh we got a something power up. I don't know. Let's go. Reload and heal, please. Whoa! Whoa! What the hell? A duplicate? Are you kidding? How is there a duplicate? Um, okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm gonna try and use my anti-grav field. Your abilities are... Which works pretty nicely. The duplicate's gone. And the starborn is floating. That's one of the good things about that skill. I should have quick saved as well. Okay, okay, okay. Stop it now. Reloads. And he's down. One quantum essence. 
more anti-gravity is the way to do it. All right, maybe not. We need we need more than that. So that power is decent, um, but I'm just getting absolutely slaughtered here. Supposed to be adept at pistols, but I don't feel very adept right now. Let's try the side stuff. I haven't used it for a while. Okay, all right, all right. Why have I not tried using this weapon a bit more? Holy crap. Took a little bit too much damage there. Oh, that's it. Starborn's deaded. Shame they, that you can't loot whatever weapons it is they, they've got. We're out of here. Power, power. Just, just open the damn switch. Power required. Oh, you ass. Power receptacle. Oh, come on. Don't do this now. Just, just, we, just as we're about to leave. We've got to find a bloody power cell thing. Oh, it was one right there. I just ran around there for ages, but you won't know that because I cut it out. Right, get me out of here. Bound to be a few more of these starborn around here. Honestly, how how NASA got anything done is beyond me. Emergency cuttable wall. Oh yeah, somebody very beautifully sarcastically told me about this. If I cut these pins, it's an emergency exit. Ah! <laughs> Thank you, whoever you were. I've I've completely forgotten about that comment, but incredibly useful. An emergency cuttable wall. It's so genius. And a novice level. What, do I need to get in there? You cannot just break it open. Well, there's no need for violence all the time, Andreja. She's got, she's obsessed. Oh, wait a sec. We got another one. Where'd you go? I don't know what that weapon is, but... Well, my weapon is absolutely pitiful. All right, he's done. Quantum essence is mine. There's one more around here. What is this? We have to go up to get down. Gotcha. Well, we we anti gravitated his ass. Oh no! What have I done? I blew him up. Done and dusted. Quite a good technique that though. Doesn't do damage in itself. God, this is such a huge level. Okay, we're out. The launch tower. Hang on, was this? Could I have come to this before when I was trying to get to those re recordings? Oh, sorry, the recording on the roof? Talk to the emissary. Really? Do we need to? Oh, he's down there. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, I'm going to jump and use the booster at the bottom. Nice. Yes. Wow. Are they going to ask me to make a decision? The hunter and the emissary you together. Now why I ask you to come here? The artifacts unlock the secret of interstellar travel. At the cost of Earth. An easy trade, honestly. Why have one world when you can have all the settled systems? I understand that point of view. I really do. What would you choose? Just one planet or the chance for our entire species to survive by colonizing multiple? Seems to me, uh, 
Humanity's destiny was the stars anyway. I don't I still don't quite understand what I found. Can you explain? I mean, let's let's recap. Every grab drive in the subtle systems was built on technology that came from an artifact that was discovered. No, I kinda got that, but But these early drives shook the gravity field surrounding Earth. Eventually, the atmosphere started to slowly sputter away into space. That's why Earth is uninhabitable. The artifact gave the scientists a greater understanding of time and space, but not the wisdom to see where that would lead. The settled systems wouldn't exist without the artifacts, in other words. We owe what happened here in NASA a great debt. I, I gotta say, I'm, I'm on that side. I, I, you know, if it, if it isn't what we invented, these grav drives, yeah, big mistake, massive F up. But if it wasn't that, something else would have destroyed the planet. And if we hadn't left and discovered other places, where would, well, we'd all be gone anyway. We wouldn't even be having this conversation. Humanity's destiny was the stars. I am glad you see it that way. I also believe that is true. Don't you see? The power of the artifact forced humanity to the stars. They didn't get to make a choice. How many would have chosen Earth? And what gave Victor Isa the right to choose for them? You see the hypocrisy in what the emissary is saying, right? They don't want to rob people of their free will, but then they steal the artifacts for themselves. In the wrong hands, the power of the artifacts can make anyone a tyrant. That's why we watch over them. The only thing you're watching out for is yourself. Whew. I like this though. We've got a third option here. The emissary is right. The artifacts need to be in the right hands. The hunter is right. The only real rule is who gets all the artifacts first. I think the last is the right choice. You're both wrong. It's time someone other than a starborn made a decision. Neither seems to be worth trusting. You know your own heart, your own motives. Perhaps that is enough. Don't be a fool. The Emissary and I may have our differences, but you do not want to give us a common enemy. For once, he's right. Don't do this. We can collect the final pieces together. Okay. <clears throat> I get to choose. A siding with the Emissary or an alliance with the Hunter. I'm tired of both of you. I'll get to the Unity on my own. How many people pick a choice here? The The... the the drawback to a lost or a fallen friend or perhaps the sense of the hunter he's he makes a good argument it doesn't really matter but i don't like the way he goes around what he does the emissary seems cool but his philosophy is wrong i'm just gonna have to say i'm tired of both of you go I, I'm, I'm going on my own that i think is all you can do do not allow these starborn to dictate your fate well look at that the emissary just became my new best friend. You've made your choice. When you're ready, the hunter and I will be at the buried temple. That's where we'll settle things. Meaning we'll kill you. But hey, at least we'll wait. <laughs> I got it, I got it. The final round doesn't start until there's only one artifact left to gather. And if I'm not mistaken, Constellation has one or two to go. Oh, really? We've got quite a lot to go. Well, there you go. Level 25, the final glimpses. Oh, look at that ship. Look at that ship. That's gorgeous. Well, I think we're definitely going to call it a day here. Andreja, I will speak to you soon. Thank you for watching this one. So much to dis so much we discovered. Um, drop down below your comments, thoughts. If you if you're following the game just from my gameplay, um, obviously, please for those of you that know the rest of the story, no spoilers, please. But what do you think so far? I think the story is decent. Uh, it's it, it's really interesting, and I, I'm looking forward to finding out more. But there is a huge galaxy out there with so many more adventures. I think I might take a little break from the main story and just go and do a few sightings in the next part. Take care. Thanks for watching this one. And I will see you and Andresia next time. Good night.